friends today i am here to deal with the topic conductive system of heart this topic is the basics for ecg and cardiac cycle and i am going to deal this topic under three headings first definition its components and the function and importance of each component as we all know heart is a blood pumping organ it has to contract and relax all the time to pump the blood to various parts of our body how does this contraction and relaxation occur tissue the specialization of this tissue is that it can initiate initiate means to start this tissue can initiate or start the electric impulses on its own after starting this tissue conducts those electric impulses throughout the heart through a specific pathway what does this conduction of impulses do for example if the impulse is here in this particular area then this part of the heart goes into the state of contraction and when this impulse moves downwards or moves away from this place then this particular part goes into a state of relaxation so the contraction and relaxation are brought up by the electric impulses this electric impulses are transferred to the conducting system of our heart here i want to highlight an important point the other word for contraction is depolarization if anyone says the heart is in the state of contraction it means it is in the state of depolarization in the same way if someone say that the heart is in the state of relaxation it means the heart is in the state of repolarization the concepts of repolarization depolarization and the waves formed by ecg waves formed by them will be described in detail in my next video so many of them have many of them have confusion between these two terminology which one relates to which one so to make the confusion in these terminologies i came up with very very small mnemonic so here in relaxation you have re and in repolarization we have re and these both are related now coming to components of conducting system their functions and importance the first and main component is sa node it is also called as sinoatrial node it is horseshoe shape here i have drawn separately how horseshoe shape looks like for better understanding this sa node is present in the wall of right atrium just below the superior vena cava opening it is called as pacemaker and it is capable of producing 60 to 100 impulses per minute the impulses which start here travel to two atria and help them to contract there is a bundle by name bachmann's bundle which conduct impulses from sa node to left atria the velocity of impulse conduction in two atria is moderate that is it's not very slow and not very fast it's just moderate the impulses from sa node reach the av node right here by three internodal pathways namely anterior internodal pathway middle internodal pathway and posterior internodal pathway the other node here is the av node or atrioventricular node it's smaller than sa node it is present at the lower part of atrial septum this is the atrial septum and it is present at the lower part of atrial septum this av node has three very important features the first important thing is the only connection between these two atria and two ventricle is 
AV node. The impulses started in SA node cannot reach the ventricles through any other pathway. The only one way through which the impulses can reach ventricle is the AV node. So this AV node is called as gatekeeper. The second important thing about AV node is that it conducts or transfers impulses very slowly. It do not conduct impulses as soon as it get from atrium. It delays the conduction. However, this delay is very helpful. Because of this delay, the atria contract first and empty their blood. Then the conduction slowly passes to ventricles and later ventricles contract. The third important point is if there is any pathological condition in SA node or in any of these three internodal pathways, the impulses generated in SA node fail to reach AV node. That AV node is only the pathway for conduction of impulses from atria to ventricle. Now here there is no passage of the impulses. Then how does the ventricles contract and how do they pump the blood to lungs and all parts of body? Well, here we have a lifesaver that is AV node. This AV node is capable of producing impulses at a rate of 40 to 60 impulses per minute. Now the ventricles can contract and pump the blood but at a lower rate. Let's just revise the three important features of AV node once again. The reason why I am stressing on these three points is that they help you in your ECG interpretation. Okay, the first one, AV node is the only AV node is the only connection between the two atria and two ventricles. Second, it delays the impulses helping the atria to contract first. And the last one, it can generate the impulses at a rate of 40 to 60 per minute. Now, from this AV node, there comes bundle of his. The thick bundle here you see is called as bundle of his or atrioventricular bundle. And it is divided into right bundle branch and left bundle branch. And lastly, they are divided into perconjure fibers. These small fibers are called as perconjure fibers. These fibers conduct impulses into the wall of ventricle and into the papillary muscles. These are the papillary muscles. We have two papillary muscles on the left side and three papillary muscles on right side. And finally, the ventricles contract. These perconjure fibers are capable of producing 20 to 40 impulses per minute. The velocity is in this ventricular components. The bundle of his right and left bundle branches and perconjure fibers is very high. The velocity in atria is moderate, in AV node is delayed and in the ventricular components is high. This is all about the connecting system of heart. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe my channel for more videos.